Okie dokie, got a real good video for you today. A lot of action over at Moody Town. And after we watch some trains, please stand by and watch the end of the video. We got some business to take care of that I need your help with. So let's get started. Southern Rail Fan is the place for amazing videos of all types of trains. Southern Rail Fan, subscribe today. Okie dokie, we're gonna zip over to Moody Town and check out northbound M692, uh, southbound M693, and southbound loaded ethanol train B651 with the legend taking care of the paperwork.
get down to some business and uh, for you guys that hung around I really appreciate it this is fairly important uh, I've had a small YouTube channel for well over 10 years and uh, just recently within the last couple of years it started to build a little bit and I'll get between 200 to 500 video views and uh, if you know anything about how the monetization system works on YouTube that's not very much. That doesn't generate a whole lot of money. Well, when I posted the video for what was happening with our buddy Mark Nichols, Hobo Shoestring, what I should have done is when I posted those videos, I should have marked them as demonetized. That wasn't the mindset I was in at the time. I, and I didn't think that they were going to get any more views than what my normal uh, videos got and most of them was trying to get uh, a search coordinated and then letting some people know as quick as I could that the search was no longer going to be necessary uh, but anyway those videos have gotten quite a bit of views and generated some money through the monetization system of YouTube and it's been weighing on my mind about that money and what would be the best thing to do with that money. Now, the family has set up a GoFundMe uh, for the family and expenses uh, for, for whatever they're, and it, it seems to be doing good. So the little bit of money that, that I've got off of those videos, I wanted to use it for the best impact that we could get out of it. Well, I was talking to a friend the other day and we were talking about memories and that kind of thing. And he was telling me a story about going to one of the local theme parks that has a steam engine. And you could tell that those visits to that park with his family and stuff really meant a lot to him. You could just tell by his delivery. So what I had in mind was we could take that money that come off of the monetization of those videos that I've posted and it won't be enough to do what I want to do with, but we could use it as priming the pump, so to speak. So what I had in mind 
was we could have something like a hobo shoestring day at the park. And we could take money and go through the uh, children's services and pay for a one day visit for a child that in any other circumstances would not have that opportunity to go. And we could talk to the kids in a group before they go and, and tell them hobo shoestring story and, and let them know that your attitude and how you treat other people can affect the entire world. You don't have to have a ton of money. You don't have to have a ton of resources to, to make an impact on the world. And that's something as a community, I think we could uh, nourish the idea, make it grow and maybe do it once a year. And, and that will be something to, to last generations and, and, and his memory could last through those kids to where they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and telling the story about the time that they went to a theme park. So this is Sunday afternoon. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is make some contacts with some of the uh, theme parks in the area. I'd like to have something train related, obviously, or a theme park that has a train there with it. Talk to their public relations people, see what their ideas are. Obviously, talk to the legal side of it and see what holdbacks would be there as far as uh, sponsoring a, a child that's in uh, state custody or, or uh, uh, foster care or orphan or whatever the term is you want to use for that. But I thought we could take that little bit of money that come with that and then, uh, you know, just, just kind of steamroll with it and see, see what we could work out. And I think that would... Uh, have the biggest impact with a little bit of money those videos produced and maybe will produce and uh, carry his memory on. And, and that way the, the family can do what they're, want, they're gonna do. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I wish them the best, obviously. And, and I hope that uh, their uh, GoFundMe reaches the goals that they, they want it to. But I think this is something we can do as a community and uh, continue to do it. Down in the description is gonna be my email again. Email me your ideas. Email me the, the pros and cons that you think about this. Uh, if you're a legal person, let me know, hey, you may have this problem, you may have that problem, but let's, let's do something for the less fortunate children with, with what little money we've got there and, and do it for our buddy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back out trackside tomorrow, see what I can come up with. See you guys then.